Now, when you're building a website in WordPress, you may come across times where you need to just quickly add images into a design to kind of get a feel for it. Whether you're prototyping, just want to share it with a client, a million different reasons. I come across a plugin yesterday that makes this super quick and easy. And I know for me, this is going to be a massive time saver. It's totally free, and let's take a quick look at it. So the plugin is called Instant Images. This allows you to easily just add images to your media library, and then you can use them throughout your site. Cool thing is, this connects up for free to things like Pexels, Unsplash, and so on. Let's quickly take a look at how easy it is to add more images to your media library. So I've connected mine up to the API keys for both Unsplash and Pexels. So all we need to do now is come into the Media section and go to Instant Images. This now will open up the interface, and inside here you can see there's all the supported different platforms, Unsplash, Pixabay, Pexels, and so on. So let's just say we want to use Pexels. We can click on there. This will then show us a curated list. All we need to do is come in and search for what we want. Let's say we're looking for something to do with a coffee website. Type in coffee. That will now start to filter. Now, using Pexels, we can also then set things up to work with colors and orientations and so on. So we may want to specifically only have landscape images. We can change this over to landscape. You can choose the sizes that you want. Let's say, for example, medium. And now we have a bunch of images that match that criteria. All we need to do is go over the ones we like. Click, click, click. After a second or so, you can see there's a little check mark to say you've downloaded them. Cool. Let's go and take a look at Unsplash for the same thing. Let's go and search for coffee again. And you can see we've got a bunch more. So we can, again, sort these based upon what we have available for the filters inside that particular platform. So let's choose our orientation one more time. We'll say landscape for this again. Colors, you can see there's all the different colors we can choose from. Let's leave that as it is. Let's say we like the look of this one, and we like the look of this one. Job done. You can see they're now downloading. And all we need to do is simply come over into our library. And there's our new images ready for us. If we click on any of them, you can see we've got the alt text added and the title, which is the, basically the photographer. So that's already included in there. Super quick and easy. Let's take a quick look at the settings and see some of the options that are available. Let's just head back to Instant Images. Let's come into the Settings. So inside the Settings section, all the settings we need are here. The most important setting inside here, though, in my opinion, is the general settings where we can control the maximum height and width of the images we want to download from any of the platforms we connect up to. So you can see we can set the maximums here. Pretty simple. You can set your default provider from any of those available. And then you can set up whether you want to have image attribution. So if you want to attribute the photographer, especially useful if you're doing something like a blog and using lots of images, it's always good to give attribution to the original photographer. You can do that directly inside you. And it'll automatically pull that data in when it downloads the image from the relevant different sort of website. Pretty cool. If you want to remove the media modal, you can do that here. You can pop in any of your API keys and underneath. Again, for most of these services, and not all these services, there is free API. As long as you don't abuse them, everything is going to be free inside you. Next up is the image sizes. And as you can see, there is an upgrade here if you want to enable this function. You can see the current image sizes are all created here. So you, if you're happy with these, you have no need for this additional option. And then any licenses for add-ons are available here. You can find out what's new and also any additional plugins this particular sort of developer has. All in all, I think it's a super useful little plugin that does one job and does it really, really well. If you're in the market for something like this, I recommend taking a look at Instant Images. It does the job. Anyway, all applicable links are in the description down below. Let me know if you've tried this yourself. If not, if you have any alternatives, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.